Hey guys, I'm C1 of the Platinum One. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3 Heart Run. Last time we got the Master Sword, the Hookshot, and we got the Song of Storms, which we're going to be using much, much later in the game. And today, we're at Lon Lon Ranch at night. Let's see what Malin has to say. I never got the chance to do this. Please keep it secret from Mr. Ingo that I sing the song. Wow, that made me waste a perfectly good good few seconds. Alright, so what we're going to do here is play the sun song to make it daytime. And whoa, I accidentally not exited out from the stable. It's because I was looking around off screen to see what was up, but like, I guess nothing's up, I guess. Anyways, what we want to do now is talk to Mr. Ingo here. Let's see. There are some people in Kakariko Village spreading rumors that I cheated Talon on the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That Talon guy was weak. I, the hard-working Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave this ranch to me. I'll raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf for some weird reason. Alright, so now we're going to pay 10 rupees to ride. We already know how to ride, so there you go. Anyways, we don't want to use this crappy horse. That horse sucks. So, we're going to play Epona Song. And, oh yeah, look at that fine beast. Whoa. Yeah, thanks a lot, other horse. Random horse number two. Alright, so let me get into horseback controls. You press A to get on your horse, obviously, when you approach near it. And you have here six carrots. You press A while riding to go faster. When you use up all your carrots, you you need to wait a while for them to recharge. They recharge over time already, so yeah. The horse will jump automatically, so you need to speed up in order to get past, like, jump over big gates. But you do not need to speed up in order to get past the small gates. Simple as that. And also later, when we get the fairy bow, we will be able to use arrows on our horse, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, we just gotta ride around for one fest. It's like, hey, time's up, young man. You've only paid 10 rupees. You've played around long enough. Alright, so what we want to do now is talk to him again. And get on our horse again. Because there's actually something else to do. Alright, so call Epona again. Blah, blah, blah. And get on her. Wow. They made this alright. And go over to Mr. Ingo. You're getting better. How about a little race? Alright, so here we you'll wager 50 rupees. Alright, so now we gotta race Mr. Ingo. So basically we have to stay a little faster than him. He's not gonna be fast for this for this race, but for the next one it gets a little bit harder. All we have to do is get one lap around and that's it. The time limit doesn't matter. No one cares about the time limit. Okay, I'm actually a bit worried now, actually. Shoot! If the great Gendra found out about this humiliation... Hey, you! How about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse! Alright, so now Mr. Ingo is going to get a little faster. What you want to do now? Whoa! I actually got ahead of him that time. Awesome. And don't stay too close to the uh, fence because the game, the physics of that game may glitch up and actually cause you to go a bit slower. And, and, yay, we win. <laughs> Sorry. What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse under my right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot! Ha ha ha! 
as I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Well, that's jerkish. Run these chickens as a sign of rage. Wow, nice shot of Link's ass over there. Don't worry, the chickens won't hurt you, or cuckoos for that matter. Anyways, Nintendo Capri Sun did this, so I figured why not that I do it. And here come- Ah, nuts. Anyways, you can actually jump over there to get out of the ranch. I've seen Nintendo Capri Sun do it, so if I can't do it in these next few tries, I'm gonna just jump over the fence like a, like a regular old person would. Here it goes. Yeah, we did it. Do a new. We got a little spring up there. Oh my god. That's a sure sign of what Nin what, what Chugga Conroy calls Nintendo logic. You jump over the fence, yet you jump over the actual ranch itself. Now that's pure logic. Not. Okay, so. Actually, I was intended on going to the Forest Temple first, but but there's actually something we can do now that we have Epona. This is actually required for a little side quest we need to do. Actually, it's kind of a big side quest. Part of another side quest that we have to do to get this really awesome weapon. So... And yay, our magical leaf grew up. So yeah, this is the function of the magic beans. They grow up into giant plants. So they'll fly around, yay, making this trip a lot easier than it needs to be. And, wait, what? I see snow. Why is it snowing? Well, we'll find out soon, though. But in the meantime, we gotta enter Zora's Domain. And you probably won't like what you see about about this. The night. It is young. Okay. So we go in here and whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at this place. It's all frozen. Yes. Apparently, Zora's domain is now completely froze over. Froze is not a word. Um. Anyways, what we want to do now is go up here and whoa, King Zor, you got yourself into red ice. Yes, we actually need to melt down King Zora. Wait a minute, let's see. Eh, I got free ball. I got a false ball. I can do this. All right, so now we're in Zora's fountain, and it looks like Jabu Jabu passed on. So sad. May his dungeon be filled with frozen jellyfishes. Jellyfishies. Jellyfishes this is. This. Okay. Enough of that. So anyway, what you what we want to do now is go into this place. This place is actually required, but but we'll get into that as we go along. Anyway, this is the ice cavern. This is a sort of a mini dungeon. Sort of. Yeah. So anyway, what we do now is kill these things. These are called Freezards. Not sounding similar to any Pokemon name. I love the last name sort, but whatever. Also, apparently they have the ability to grow invisible. Which, I don't know how that makes sense, considering that they're ice. Oh no, they camouflage in the ice. The only real bit is that these Freezards only appear in like like two or three, two or three dungeons. I don't know. So anyway, for this room, we got to get, ooh, 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 gold skeletal. I need to get that. And ow, that hurts me. Die, oh! <laughs> I actually got hurt just as, I got hurt by the bomb, and then I got hurt by the spike, which I hurt the skeletal in the process. <laughs> that was really weird. So anyway, collect those five silver rupees, and you're good to go. 
By the way, that was the new puzzle mechanic, Silver Rupees, which are the equivalent to, like, Blue Rupees. I have no idea why, and I don't care. I don't care. Alright. So anyway, now we gotta go through this room. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I have Farrer's... or Farrer's Wind. I could just create a warp point here. Uh, I probably just never to do that again. Hey, die, ice, kiss, or keys. I always mix. I always got them mixed up. Sorry. Come on. Yeah, screw it. With the French fry. I don't know where. I don't know where I was going with that. So anyway, now we got this thing. This blue fire, it doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something? Yes, we want to use it for something. We got the blue fire in the bottle, and we're about to get hit by, by ice keys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And ah! Okay, now we want to return to the warp point. And convenience, we got out of there faster than you, before you can say Superman. Alright, that was a prime example of Farrer's for Wind. Basically, you can only use it in dungeons. And in the ice cavern, apparently, you can warp back to the entrance. Making that incredibly, incredibly useful. So, yeah, it will be useful in the water temple. Just trust me on that. Anyways, now we got the blue fire and everything. So... Next, we want to... <clears throat> another, yet yeah, another small burp. Use the blue fire on King Zora. And we defrosted him! Yay, we did it! What is it? Oh, I've come back to life! Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing on the water changing the subject. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke on the water. And believe it or not, we got the Zora tunic early. Yes, we got the Zora tunic early. And I don't know why I read that sign. All right. Anyways, wait, can I actually get this? Sculpt yeah, I can get it. I can get it. So anyway, now that we're done with all of that, getting Epona and getting the Zora tunic and melting King Zora, we can now proceed on... Ow! We can now proceed on to the side quest in the next part. So next time, we're going to start that big side quest I was talking about. So see you guys next time. <laughs>